hi guys welcome you again to another news it has just been said by the ipod leader bruce finn blaming the british government over the continuous detention of its national mazi inamdekano according to the news ipod leader's lawyer bruce finn flees the british government for abandoning its citizen, Kano amid illegal detention, rights violations by the Nigerian government. Well, we all know the history and where it started from the issue of Mazanam de Kano's detention, how he was illegally you know, repatriated from Kenya to Nigeria and illegally detained. And the British government have probably not done anything to secure his release and now bruce finn is blowing hot about this we all would like you to see tight as we go into the full details of the news according to the news bruce finn the international council and spokesperson for inamdi kanu the detained leader of the indigenous people of biafra ipob has described the position of the United Nations Working Group as legally binding on the Nigerian government. The Working Group had declared the arrest of Kano as unlawful and an infringement on his international human rights. It also called for the immediate release of the IPOB leader and compensation to be paid to him by the Nigerian and Kenyan governments for the way he was treated. The Working Group on Arbitrary Detention under the United Nations Commission on Human Rights, UNCHR, disclosed this in a statement published on its website. The group comprises scholars and experts who specialize in human rights issues and related laws. Finn had petitioned the group over an alleged gross violation of his client's right. The UN group in its report also described Kano's repatriation from Kenya in June 2021 as an illegal, unlawful, unconstitutional extradition. Finn in a letter to Castronia Lane the British High Commissioner to Nigeria said Kano is a British citizen and should be defended from a lawless nation. He asked the UK government to ask its Nigerian counterparts to comply with the UN group's declaration calling for the immediate unconditional release and reparation of the IPOB leader. The letter reads in part, on July 20, 2022, the United Nations Human Rights Council Working Group on Arbitrary Detention issued a unanimous opinion addressing United, you know, United Kingdom citizen in Amdekanos kidnapping, torture, extraordinary rendition, and protract, you know, protracted detention without trial by Nigeria acting in coalition with Kenya. Among these things, the working group opinion called upon Nigeria to take urgent action to ensure the immediate unconditional release of Mr. Kanu. Paragraph 107, the opinion catalogued the serial human rights violation of Nigeria and Kenya regarding Mr. Kanu, the deprivation of liberty in contravention of Article 2, 3, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 19 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights and Article 2, 9, 13, 14, 16, 19, and 26 of the International Covenant and Civil and Political Rights, Paragraph 105. The 
Villanios Mar treatments of Inamdekano by Nigeria and Kenya prompted the working group to refer its case to special rapporteur on torture and other cruel, inhuman, or degrading treatment or punishment. Paragraph 109 More than one month has elapsed since the unambiguous working group opinion. Nigeria has sneered at the opinion as nothing but a scrap of paper like Belgium neutrality snubbed by Germany in World you know World War World War One, pardon, to which Britain responded with war. What is your thought to this? Enamde Kano is a British citizen. He has suffered far more than Captain Jenkins, you know, at the hands of Nigeria and Kenya has collaborated and held by the UN working group. Yet, you have done nothing to secure Mr. Kano's immediate and unconditional release as mandated by international law. Indeed, you have I did like narrow fiddling with Romy Bond. You cannot claim ignorance. We can see the you know foreign lawyer of Mazenam Dikano Bruce Finn challenging the British government for abandoning its citizen. Would you say you don't know about Kano's continuous detention? Would you say you don't know everything was illegal? What is your thought to this? A lot of things has been said. A lot of things is still going to be said as a lot of things is happening presently. Who would like you to let us know your own thought to this? The IPOB lawyer is being detained illegally and the British government is doing absolutely nothing about it. That is what Bruce Finn is saying. Well, let's see what people have felt to this. In the Amaka Paul reacted and said, British government never hid their hatred on Bia France and to today they are still showcasing their resentment towards the indigenous people of Biafra. Because it has to do with Biafra, they are ready to bend the rules at all times. But what British government doesn't know is bigger than them. No one can stop all things. The time has come. No one what is your thought to this? We've just heard what indeed Yamaka Paul have said that it is obvious that the British government are not hiding their hatred on Biafrans. And even all today, they are still showcasing this resentment towards the indigenous people of Biafra. What is your thought to this? Anytime it has to do with Biafra, they are ready to bend their rules at all times. But what they don't know is bigger than what they know. They don't know that no one can stop a thing when the time has come no one can stop it when the time has come the time for biafra actualization is now and no one can stop it even the continuous detention of mazanam dikano cannot stop it that is what has been said by the Damaka paul who would like you to let us know your own point of view to this thank you guys for listening to subscribe to this channel if you have not and i will see you on the other news Bye for now.